Yo, what's up traders? Uh, it's your one and only Forest Skill Coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you all here today on this one. Alright, uh, today in this video, I'll be talking about something very important that a lot of you as traders ought to know, which uh, is, is really rare to find topics like this on the internet. But due to this question has been coming to me quite a lot of times, that's why I decided that it is high time I talk about it and enlighten traders on this. All right. So today we'll be talking about a very important topic, which says early entries and late entries. All right. Early entries and late entries. You know, as a trader, it is very important that you be able to uh, enter into the market when the market is on the early stage all right you don't enter the market when it's on a late stage because if you enter the market when the market is late it simply means that you are jumping into the market like one who is jumping in front of a moving train and that is one big reason why a lot of traders keep losing money in the markets that is one of my uh biggest experience in the past all right losing money all because i jump into a moving trade which is not meant to be so right in this video today at the end of it all you'll be able to learn what it is to get into the market on time and what it also means to get into the market late right before i begin if this is your first time on my channel please do me a favor smash the subscribe button turn the notification bell on because right here in this channel what we do is to post wonderful and awesome contents that helps you grow in your trading career another thing you want to do is to make sure you follow me up on twitter yes that reminds me a lot of traders have been asking tim why not use instagram instead of twitter now i've opened several instagram accounts and i always notice that once the account is beginning to grow it gets banned by instagram just for no reason and i'm super tired of that shit. so i decided that i'll be using twitter because i can still do the same thing i do on t on instagram or with twitter i can go live with twitter and i can tweet all my wonderful contents analysis even signals for you guys right on twitter so you want to make sure you join me on twitter my handle is right here on the screen at bullish bear fx or you can go straight to the description and the link is there the next thing you also want to do is to make sure you join us on telegram so that you don't miss any single update for the meantime let's get started all right here today uh i'll be using volatility 75 all right to give you a few examples and then i'll also take you straight into my currency pair charts because when we talk about early entry an early entry simply means when you jump into the chart when a new move has just begun all right the market gives you different moves you have a, a bullish move you have a, a bearish move the same thing we all know as trend a bullish trend a bearish trend so you only want to look for buying opportunities when you see a bullish trend and selling opportunities when you see what a bearish trend now in the same word i also want to let you know that it is important that as a trader you jump into the charts or you jump into the trade selling when a new trend has begun for selling opportunities or when the bears has just entered the market to sell all right so for instance we have a bearish market all right we have a market going bearish all right you only want to look for entries when price has given you a pullback because we already know how price moves when it comes to price structure price moves uh high higher low high, uh, higher high higher low higher high higher low all right sorry for a downtrend we have the high we have the low we have the lower high the lower low the lower high the lower low and the lower high and that's how a downtrend market moves so as a trader who wants to catch the move you only want to catch the move when a lower low has just been uh created and on on his way to a lower high on the end of the lower high is where you want to look for your entry now one big mistake that a lot of traders do is they get into the chart they always want to jump into the chart uh when price is not done creating the lower high all right you see traders jump into the chart here so some of them jump into the chart here 
and that's not what it's meant to be all right some traders even when they see price coming to the downside they want to jump in here they want to jump in here which is really not safe as a trader you don't want to do that kind of a thing all right so what you want to do is to only look for your opportunities when you see price you only want to look for your opportunities when you see price uh cre create the when when price has cre just created a new lower high and is on its way going back down only then you want to look for your entries so we are going to do that right now and see how it works okay so uh let me give you a very simple scenario we have price going low lower high low lower high low lower high low right now we you want to always make sure that you have your trend lines in place that is having your supports and your resistance right you always want to make sure that you have them in place so that you can know where to take your entries right now price just created this low created a lower high created a lower low which is lower than the previous low gave you a lower high as a trader you only want to look for your early entries when price gets to probably your resistance which was a previous support that just got broken and price gets to resistance you only want to look for your entry either here or latest here if price has gone five pips five pips away from your uh previous uh you, if, if price has gone five pips away from a previous a new high that has been created don't jump into the chart leave it it has left it, it has gone before you just leave it don't rush into it because you do not know it might go against you that is why a lot of traders always have this complaint of oh how come is it that when i enter the chart the moment i entered it went against me took my stop loss and the moment it hit my stop loss it started going back down why is that that is because you jumped into a moving train you want to always make sure that if price has gone at least five pips away from your new high that was created do not jump into it allow it to move even irrespective of how it moves sometimes you oh, you're gonna see it move even deeper and deeper and it's gonna keep telling you hey jump in jump in jump in do not jump you have to learn to be a disciplined trader don't jump always have this at the back of your mind that this is forex and forex never closes it means that if i miss this opportunity i must get another opportunity anytime soon if you don't find an opportunity in this chart you can always find another opportunity in another chart or in another instrument all right so if prices move five pips away from your new high that was created do not take the trade allow it to make its move all right so you might likely see it make a new lower low and once you see a new lower high being created you should be getting ready and your eyes should always be on that resistance or on the support that was broken all right you should have your 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 key levels all set in place and once your rep and once price gets to your zone look for your entry instantly without delay all right look for your entry and make sure that your stop loss is right above that support that was broken that has turned to resistance your, your stop loss have to be right above it now and you have to make sure that you have a higher take profit level do not ever uh go to the market risking high to make low or risking high to make high or low to make low you must always make sure you have this stick to your mind risk low to make high what do i mean always go for higher risk to reward ratios like one to one to two one to three one to four and above all right anything one to one risk to reward i don't want to go for it even to the extent that nowadays i don't even like to go for one to two risk to reward i always go from one to three and above that is what you should do as a trader all right so once you take your entry your first entry here and price goes for you you have caught an early entry and if price ended up maybe uh trying to play around with em your emotions because the the the, the, the big banks or those moving the market already mm. know that tra a lot of traders are looking to take entries around that zone so they want to play with your emotions all right they might even likely want to go to to hit your your stop loss for a little while all right but don't get it twisted if your stop loss is hit no problem that is where your risk management comes in place all right i think i'll have to make another video concerning risk management 
in the nearest future if you want that video you can always leave comments below and i will know that you want it and i will make it for you all right so that's where your risk management comes in place now you're risking let's say you're risking ten dollars and your target is about fifty dollars right fifty dollars is what you're targeting that is you having a one to five risk to reward and that's cool all right so now your stop loss was hit and you lost ten dollars cool that's not uh, a big deal what you want to do is to wait now one mistake that traders do is once their stop loss have been hit they want to enter again immediately from there thinking that that's where the move will begin no you should always make sure you stick to your key levels all right i have here to be a previous support before and it has turned resistant i will only look for my entry once price comes back to my key level because if price ended up crossing my key level and went up here there's every scenario that it might likely want to go back up to probably retest the previous key level so that is why you always want to make sure you are disciplined don't uh revenge against the market now i've given you a, a cool example of what an early entry is and what a late entry is now what of what of what about we get into the charts and talk a bit about it right on the charts for instance here in volatility 75 index right now uh, i just jumped into my chart all right because i already had all my uh, analysis set up here and there all right and i was expecting to look for an entry around here but i noticed that i came in uh when price has already made this move right as a as a trader who is a beginner he will likely say oh it's moving let me sell let me sell immediately come on if you trying to sell is really dangerous right it's really dangerous because you don't know what's gonna happen next you don't know if price might likely decide that it wants to take uh, this level right now which is a support which was a support you don't know if price might likely want to take here now as support to go back up which you don't want to see yourself running through those emotional trauma so I uh, the best advice is stay out of the market let it do what it wants to do yes it has moved before me no problem if you will end up coming back then cool all right if you end up coming back then cool all i will need to do is to just wait to see what price is really up to so it might likely want to come back here and once it comes back here my i know that for for, sh for sure that whenever it comes back up it's, re it's really going to find issues on this zone and that might be an area where i might likely look for opportunity to take the sell once it comes here all right i will look for my early entries probably believing that price would likely have to break through the zone all right and i'll look for myself from there so as a trader you always want to make sure you have your levels in place i always tell this to my students you set the trap and let price come to your trap and then you catch it don't go in front of a moving trade okay so at this zone i'm not going to take any sell <clears throat> even though i know i was looking for sell i'm not going to take any sell i will allow price do what it wants to do get to <clears throat> my level and i will know what next that i will have to do it might likely play around and go back up to this level and i will see that as another opportunity to take a good sell because that is what we call uh a double but a double top that it has it probably will create for me giving me more confluence to sell when it ever gets there and in that same way i'll take you straight to my chart using the uh euro usd all right using euro usd right now i will show you a little example of what i mean when i say look for your trade early all right so right here right now let's go straight now for instance i was looking for a selling opportunity right here okay and then i just came jumped into the charts and i saw price here right as a trader what i want to do is to know if this is an early entry or a late entry now how do you really know if it's an early entry or a late entry if you're planning to risk ten dollars all right and you said to yourself okay i want to place my trade here if you place your trade here where is your ten dollar stop loss going to be if your ten dollar stop loss is not above this resistance don't take that trade it means that's gone far beyond your 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 your, uh, your uh, willing 
your risk willingness all right you must always make sure you have your risk willingness like how much you're willing to risk so if you're willing to risk ten dollars and price you saw price here right now and you want to place your stop loss and for instance it turns out to be that the you, you don't have anywhere to hide your stop loss because you always want to make sure your stop loss is on a safe zone all right well, now we can see that he, this is a problem when price came here it got resisted it went down it came here it got resisted this simply means that this zone is safe for me to put my stop loss if i want to take a trade so if i decide that maybe i want to risk just uh let me see i want to risk just hundred dollars right now uh okay i want to risk just hundred pips and i want to always target 200 and 300 pips above right so right here i have 128 pips if i take it down to 100 let's see 100 just 100 i just need 100 okay i think i'm just gonna set it up manually here okay so i just want to risk 100 pips and i want to target as high as 400 pips that's one to four risk to reward and that's cool but look here if i take the entry from here right now i'm not safe look where my stop loss is price can easily get here all right i only want to look for entries that i know that is like somehow like this which i know that my stop loss is right above that zone that is that is serving as resistant for the markets only then i will know i'm gonna take my entry so if i met price here is gone far away already for me because my stop loss is not on a safe zone so all i'm gonna do is to leave it all right so i will, sh I will look for another entry when price comes back to any of my key zones so let's play and see how price plays now price is really going deep down yes no problem but i will have to keep waiting because one thing is fact price will surely come back to me someday all right so now i have another support and resistance created somewhere around here right cool so i have to take here as another key level to look for an entry in case if price comes to it in the nearest future because i can see it's out as resist it's out the support it's out as resistant here that simply means it's a cool zone to look for entries if price gets to it for itself right now i'll just keep playing on and see how price plays all right so that was a very typical example of what we call late entry all right late entry on that zone and i didn't take it because it's not safe for me now price has come back to a new key level of mine here was support right here was kind of support in the past here was support price found support here and broke out now has turned to resistance and is not far away from my willingness to risk all right or or my risk willingness right cool now i have my stop loss right above on a safe zone so what i'll do is to take the entry and let's see how it plays now you can see exactly what's happening price is actually trying to get into my stop loss this for you to know how the market plays against retail traders a lot of traders right now would have uh maybe some traders would have put the stop loss as little as that because they don't want to risk so much all right and you see that little risk has would have taken some people's stop loss off all right so that is why it's very good to catch the entry very early so that your stop loss will be very very safe all right so imagine if our stop loss was right here this should have taken us off right now so at this zone already we can see price is actually doing well and uh, is by this time you should have break broken even if you decide to break even all right and you see how price keeps going deeper so what is this video all about is to tell you that you need to look for safer zones to put your stop loss and for you to be able to get safer zones to put your stop loss you need to get into the market when it's on an early move once it has gone beyond your willing to re your willingness to risk don't rush it don't trade it stay out of it i hope this video made sense traders and i would love to see you on the next video you can comment uh what video you want me to do next and i'll be super excited to do it for the meantime stay safe make sure you like please because it helps me understand that you really love what i'm teaching and i'll keep doing more to enlighten you guys even much more stay safe keep winning